Defense and Space News TV Report. If you want, you can send me a Facebook friend request. Check description below. Today we are going to discuss about top 4 hot defense topic. First discuss about what is the current status of Tejas MK2, AMCA, and FGF projects. About Tejas MK2. Tejas MK2 is most probably under development but almost no information is available in public. It is being developed specially for Navy as this version should be fit for aircraft carrier operation unlike the first version. About AMCA. AMCA is being developed. It's a confirmed information. The design was completed and finalized in 2015. After that various basic tests like wind tunnel test, RCS test etc. are conducted on small scale down model and feasibility studies also have been done. Now one to one, full scale, model of AMC is being developed which will be used for all the rigorous preliminary tests required to find out the stealth capability and other aspects of the finalized design. After that the technology demonstrator and prototype building will be started. Also, the developmental works of avionics, engine, radar and other required components and technologies are going on in parallel in various research centers. AMCA is being developed in a modular approach, where various parts will be built by various companies or institutions and HAL will integrate those finally, unlike Tejas which was built by only HAL owned in a linear approach. Around 140 firms and institutions, including ADA, HAL, DRDO Labs, various big Indian companies and smaller firms and suppliers, ITS, some other universities as well as companies like Klinov, Sukhoi as joint venture partners etc., and more than 4,000 scientists and engineers are involved in AMCA project. My guess is prototype will come out in around 2021 to 22 window if no delay occurs but this is wild guess as the information about AMC is very classified. About FGFA. FGFA projects is still in the phase of negotiation between India and Russia Govts. It will be based on Su-57, Pakfar T-50, but when it will start, if it really starts at all, is not clear. A Govt body formed by ex-defense minister Mr. Minahar Berkar to study the requirement of the project indicated positively recently but any confirmed further news is not available. It's stated as classified by a Govt official recently. Next topic about. Is the Hal Tejas a success or a failure? The first thing to consider is what do we consider a failure? Is it inability to be mission ready yet considered as a failure? Well how many of us have heard of the rocket plane projects in the 1950s, I believe only a few. The fact is that these machines never entered service although they performed extremely well for those times. They even reached supersonic speeds. Has anyone heard about the nuclear engine based bomber project in which the USA in the 1960s and 70s invested close to half a billion dollar in those days only for preliminary research? Or how about the XP-70 Valkyrie project in which the USA invested close to $1.5 billion in the 1960s? Considering the project cost to current times it would be approximately $10 billion in today's terms. Or coming closer to home how many of us have heard of HF-24 Merit, it was quite an effective aircraft for its time. But with just a single crash the whole project got scrapped just because at that time a lot of questions were raised. In the process we lost the capabilities developed during that research of aircraft design. I would call these projects a failure. Why I personally don't consider the LCA project to be a failure are, the capability developed in fabricating aircraft components using composites. Tedious has the highest composite composition for any fighter aircraft, higher than even the F-35. Achievement unlocked the Tejas as helped DRDO reclaim the capabilities of new supersonic aircraft design and build a team which can further improve on it. Achievement unlocked Tejas is the smallest fighter in its class, which makes the aircraft have an extremely small RCS radar cross section. Achievement unlocked the lessons learned during the process of design will help the team at our develop future aircraft at a much faster pace as well as give a boost to local manufacturing. So I don't think the project is a failure but it is yet to achieve complete success. With the potential improvements planned for it such as a higher thrust engine, 
reduced drag, and improved avionics Dejas will surely grow into a future beast. Thanks for watching. Do subscribe, like, comment and stay with us.